Hey, it's Dr. Rachel. You can watch me every day on The Doctors, and I'm here encouraging you to get tested for HIV. Know your status, and you're watching MadamNoir.com. Orquick is a new rapid at-home test, which basically allows the person at home to test themselves for HIV. It's the exact same test that you get when you go to the health department or your doctor's office and you say, I want a rapid test, I want to know in 20 minutes. It's the exact same version of that, it's just packaged for home use. So basically what you do is you take the swab out, you swab it along your gum line, and you set and put it in developer solution and you sit and wait for 20 minutes until your results are available. Orquick is available in most of your drug stores, you know, so pretty much any drug store that you go into, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, CVS, has Orquick and if they don't, ask them. Ask for it. You can order it online um, and technically go with your friends, go with your partner, get two kits yeah, so that you can know your status in 20 minutes. Yeah, you know, I get this question all the time. How do you bring up the topic? How do you bring up the conversation? Well, these days, most people are texting. You know, you're in a text relationship before you even start having sex. So while you're texting about what do you like, how do you like it, this should be the time to be like, well, you know, I, I like to be safe with mine. So when was the last time you got tested? Even if they say last week, even if they say last month, you should say, well, great. I'm glad we both care about the same stuff. Let's get tested together. So when it comes to the conversation, you ha we have to keep in mind that some people are gonna test positive. That's why we want people to get tested. Because if you do test positive, the sooner you get into treatment, the sooner you get on the medication, studies now show that you can pretty much live into your 60s, just like any other chronic illness or disease. So it really is a matter of knowing whether or not you have it. So then if both partners don't have it and you don't have it, I think at that point you have to figure out how not to get it. <laughs> Since it's such a big issue in our community, you really need to strategize as to how to get it. For African American men, they're 11 times more likely than white men to get it. Black women, six times more likely than, black, than white women to get it. So when you really look at it like that, you really have to come up with a strategy, your own personal strategy, to make sure that you're not part of those statistics. And testing, protecting yourself, knowing your risk stratification, what is the most riskiest thing I could do with this person right here? What's the least riskiest thing I could do with this person right here? So you know, you, every sexual encounter you come into, you need to think of it like that. You need to think, okay, do I know their status? No, I don't. Did we just meet? Yeah, we did. Okay, I know we're gonna do something because our clothes are starting to come off, but what should I do in that heated moment when there's no condom there and I, we still want to both have a moment. So you, you have to know what's least riskiest. You have to know what's most, most riskiest thing you could do is be the person on the bottom of anal sex. You know, the, the least riskiest thing you could do is give somebody a hand job or finger manipulate. You know, then it goes to oral. You know, they have very few cases of HIV transmission from oral sex. So, you know, when it really comes down to it, you want to figure out who is this person I'm dealing with and what should I be doing in this heat of this moment to make sure that I'm doing the least riskiest thing? You gotta figure out if you really even like this person. Is this really somebody you wanna deal with? So if you ask little cute questions like, well, I mean, have you ever had a threesome? Well, yeah, I mean, I've even had one with eight people. I mean, so like, is that somebody you really wanna deal with? Is that somebody you wanna have a baby with? Is that somebody you wanna take home to meet your mama? You know, so really people need to do a little more research. <laughs> You know, you, we research a car before we buy it. We need to research the people before we, you know, before we take it to the next step. So if you really, really, when you really think about it, part of planning for your future in life, you know, you wanna make a bunch of money, you wanna have a great family, you wanna do all these things. So you really need to strategize as to if you don't have HIV, how to not get it. And if you do have HIV, you want to know you have it so you can live long enough to do all those things that you want to do.